Hey guys and gals, this is Bill from BC Ultimate RC. I uh, just wanted to show you a prototype that I built probably about two, three months ago. Um, it's a rail dragster. It's about uh, 50 inches long, something like that. Anyway, I've put the X Max out so you have somewhat of a comparison. Uh, the thing is long. Uh, I always build a prototype before I build the real vehicle. Uh, so this is kind of like a mock up. Uh, I've got a two wheel drive. Uh, stampede roll cage on it from VG Racing. Um, that's not going to stay on, of course. I was just trying to mock things up, see how things would fit, look, that kind of things. Uh, and it also helps strengthen it up, the chassis, a little bit. Uh, it's got 48 pitch gears on it. Um, I don't remember the size now. And these wheels and tires, uh, I'm not, I don't remember what they came off of, but they're pretty much generic. You see them at every hobby shop. It's got the Valenian 3800 motor in it and uh, the VXL3 ESC that's uh, in it. I had the uh, Radiant um, system in it and I uh, used it for another project so I just put this thing back together today so I could show you guys and gals. Um, got a Traxxas receiver in it, got a Traxxas 2055 servo. Um, chassis, I screwed together this one just for the mock-up. Um, it's got half inch by half inch <coughs> um, angle on the sides, one half inch flat through the center, and piece of ready rod connected going all the way up, all thread going up to the front, and that's a piece of a half inch by eighth inch uh, flat aluminum with a screw and a bushing in it. Uh, the ends are bent over, and I screwed. A set of Latrax rally wheels to the front. Uh, like I said, again, just to try to figure it out. The steering's not going to stay like this on the new one. Um, I'm going to do something a lot different. This was just to see how the motor combo and that kind of stuff would work. Um, I'm running a 3S battery in it for testing purposes. The new one will be running on 6S uh, with a Mama uh, Monster motor in it, I would imagine. And the new one's going to be uh, the back end of a four-wheel drive short course truck um, probably a slash that I have that I'm going to sacrifice for the build this here's a team associated rear end with a carbon fiber chassis that I just cut the front end off of it um, there's another car it was a roller that I bought I think like 20 bucks or something I have in it and uh, I just use it because I had it laying around uh, just to test it out but now I want to go bigger the new chassis will be all one piece aluminum. Um, I actually have it bent here. It's going to be about six inches longer than the one that's on there now. And that's an aluminum body that I also bent on a metal brake. Let's see how much longer the new Draxer is going to be. That's where the wheel stops on the one now. And it's going to be a lot longer as well as taller uh, than this one here. Um, so anyway, I'm going to run this thing up down the driveway a couple of times. I don't know how it's going to handle or anything. I haven't messed with it in a while, especially with this motor combo. But just for shits and giggles, we're going to just have a little bit of fun with it. So in the new Draxer, when I built it, it's going to have the um, Traxxas Funny Car uh, rims and tires on it. And then this is probably stupid, but I'm going to show you what these tires do. They definitely would not uh, make it. I'm also going to change the gearing over uh, to 32 pitch, uh, 48, just, they just don't hold up and you don't have that many gearing options, I don't think. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to switch that all over too. And uh, having a four wheel drive rear end, I'll be able to run the, the drive shaft you know, directly into the rear. So that gives me more options as far as how to mount and stuff like that. But I want to show you what these tires do, it gives you an idea of how much wheel speed this thing has. Like I said, don't do this, this is kind of stupid to do. but. Just for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like I say, when these things blow out, they can hurt you. So, you know, like I said, again, don't do this. Uh, I try to be careful about it. I don't want to get hurt either. Anyway, we're going to do a little shoot of this thing running it. With these tires, it doesn't stick to the ground, you know, and the asphalt's kind of dirty anyway. I might take it out on the road. 
but uh, it's not super quick uh, just because I don't have the 48 pitch gears and when you're working with a two-wheel drive uh, the way the motor mounts and stuff you can't you know you got to use the standard uh, one-tenth scale motor so you know you don't have room to put a big motor in it and big pinions and all that stuff the adjustability isn't there so uh, you know like I said this was just a mock-up the real one's gonna be it should be pretty awesome and I'm looking for it to be pretty quick uh, it'll have the wing and a single wheelie bar on the back and uh, it'll look more like a true dragster when it's finished So another possibility is I want to do a, I'm probably going to turn it maybe later on into a sand dragster or maybe build a separate sand dragster. Um, I've got the RC park that'll be happening and we're going to have a sand pit there. I want to do sand drags. So I was thinking about maybe trying to get some guys to build. Yeah. 